Hey there everyone, I'm Tom Day. Welcome back to the Default Agent Channel, a channel where I teach agents and brokers how not only to get REO listings, but how to service them as well. Today's topic is all about working with asset managers. This is the last video in a series that I call REO 101. If you've missed the prior videos, you can find uh, the playlist called REO 101. Uh, look, at, look for that in the uh, channel page. Now to get started, um, let's talk about what exactly is an asset manager. I mean, asset manager is a fairly generic term, but in the context of REO, it, uh, it, what it means to you is uh, an asset manager is an asset management company that's been hired by a lender, whether it were an investor, um, like a hedge fund or an insurance company, that has uh, uh, taken back uh, their property, their collateral, um, and now need to uh, manage it and eventually liquidate it. So they, uh, they hire an, an asset management company to do that for them. And within that asset management company are individual asset managers. Uh, and, or you may actually be working with a team of people um, in addition to an asset manager, you might uh, there might be a, a, an assistant asset manager, uh, a pre-marketing specialist, uh, an eviction specialist, and you'll be uh, answering to uh, uh, different people depending on the, the task that you're working on at the time. So the most important thing you need to know when working with asset managers is they're going to grade you once you complete the sale. Uh, they're going to assign a score um, based on uh, uh, several different criteria, among those being uh, your timeliness in getting your tasks done that are assigned to you, uh, the accuracy of your BPOs, and uh, the effectiveness of your communication. When it comes to the timeliness of your tasks, um, the REO department at uh, EXP has a saying, that I picked up uh, early is on time and on time is late. And I think that's a, a great creed to go by if uh, you're going to be an REO agent. You, you really want to uh, get your tasks done just as, as quickly as possible, especially those early tasks, beginning with simply accepting the uh, assignment in the first place. You're either going to get a phone call from an asset manager or an email um, asking you to accept or decline. Uh, that assignment and it really should be obvious that you don't want to be declining uh, assignments from the asset managers um, either accept uh, accept it by email right away uh, or uh, uh, if you can't answer the phone when they call uh, be sure to call them back right away to to accept that uh, assignment and and the the first task you're going to get will be the occupancy uh, check um, that was the topic of one of the uh, videos in, in this uh, series. And uh, uh, you really want to get that task done within the first 24 hours of being assigned it. Um, even better would be to get it uh, done the very day that uh, you get the assignment. Um, I, would, uh, I would drop whatever I was doing if I could and, and go get that done right away. Uh, you don't want to be the agent that uh, is routinely um, and getting their tasks done at the last minute or even worse, uh, being late with their tasks. Um, when you're late with your tasks, uh, that's gonna affect your score and uh, bad scores will uh, keep you from getting new business from them. So uh, get those tasks done just as quickly as you can. Um, when it comes to BPOs, well, BPOs are, are part art and part science. You really, you learn by doing them. You do enough of them and you will get very good at it. Uh, you don't want to be uh, biasing your valuations to the low side um, in the hopes of getting a, a quick sale or to the high side because you think you're the greatest agent in the world. You want to be spot on with your valuations. They want, you want to get it as close as you possibly can to the uh, eventual purchase price. Uh, when it comes to communicating with your, your asset manager, most of your routine communication with your asset manager will be via messaging on the platforms, whether it's Equator or ResNet or Pyramid or whatever. Uh, occasionally, you're going to need to 
uh, get an asset now and you're on the phone because you have an emergency or you have a complex situation that, that needs a back and forth conversation. Uh, you'll find that asset managers are not always easy to get on the phone. You know, they're working on dozens and dozens and dozens of files all at once. They may not know who you are or what property you're talking about. And, and, and keep the phone calls to a minimum, really. Uh, uh, most of your communication should be via messaging on the platform. Once you've uh, finished the sale, uh, you, you want to stay in touch. Uh, you know, maybe uh, it's a good idea to do an occasional uh, drip email to them, but don't overdo it. Um, keep in mind that asset managers are, are solicited heavy with phone calls and emails from other agents. So uh, keep it to a bare minimum. All right, so that's about it. I, I think I'll just sum it up by, by uh, reinforcing these three points that uh, when you're working with asset managers, you wanna be sure that you're, you're punctual, you wanna meet all your deadlines as early as you possibly can. Uh, you wanna be as accurate as possible with your, your BPOs, and uh, uh, you wanna uh, uh, communicate with them effectively. Be sure you're checking uh, uh, the platform every day to make sure you haven't missed any messages and uh, return those messages just as quickly as you can. All right, well, that's it for this video and the REO 101 series. Um, please hit that like button for me. I appreciate it. I encourage you to uh, subscribe to my channel. I have uh, more videos on REO and uh, marketing other distressed properties as well. My name's Tom Day. Uh, this is the Default Agent Channel, and I'll see you next time.